Well guys, it's that time of year again. Christmas is fast approaching and it's time to start thinking about gifts for our family and friends. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the first person you'd go to for Christmas present ideas, but if there is one thing that I do know, it is four wheel driving and camping products. So this year I put together a list of awesome products that would make a simple yet appreciated Christmas gift. Now I've broken this list down into several price ranges with the hope that you can choose a budget that suits and find an item in that list. I've got three products per price range and I've also broken them down into a tool, four wheel driving product and a camping product. So hopefully there's an idea in there for everybody. Further, I'll note that none of these items here are sponsored. I purchased all of these items at full retail price and they're things that I genuinely use on a regular basis. So there's no advertising going on here. I'll make sure to post links to these products in the description below. Otherwise, let's get straight into it. The first product today in the zero to $50 range is gonna be a tool and it's gonna be this flexible magnetic pickup tool. This one here comes in at a very affordable $21.99 in an absolute knuckle saver for working in tight spaces. If you know someone who is into working on their car or caravan, then I guarantee they know exactly what it's like to lose that last bolt in the furthest crevice of the engine bay or maybe deep into the carpets of the four wheel drive. This little tool could be bent around to fit into the tightest spots and save you from yet another trip to the hardware store. Now my bit of advice here is look out for these flexible ones. There are similar rigid type ones, but the lack of flexibility just makes them harder to use in tight areas. So my next recommendation in that zero to $50 category is this Fiskars folding saw. This little 250 millimeter saw comes in at about $35 and has come in super handy on numerous camping trips when taking a large saw or a chainsaw just isn't possible. Now this has come in super handy for me while we're vehicle camping with a family of four while we still await the delivery of our new van. The lack of space in our vehicle means that we can't take the big items like the chainsaw and this comes in very handy for collecting some wood. Although it is a little limited in what it can cut, it's still much more effective than breaking twigs with your hand for the fire. It's compact, folds and locks into a couple of different positions and is super lightweight, making it the perfect accessory for the back of the vehicle. Now the last item on the zero to $50 mark for a camping product are these Sea to Summit foam core pillows. Now I'm not overly fussed about what I sleep on, but these really are something else when it comes to camp bedding. A few years back, we were still trying to make regular home pillows work, but as you would know, not only do they take up a heap of room in the vehicle, but they get covered in dirt and bounce around the cab. Now, Tiga and I have tried the blow up pillows in the past, but you get that crinkly plastic noise if you move around and they're just not that comfortable. These Cedar Summit pillows honestly feel like our pillows at home. We originally started off with a smaller model, but we've handed them down to the kids and we've bought these large deluxe versions. They may be larger, but comprising of self-inflating foam, the top side rolls inwards and then fasten with this attached Velcro tab. I mean, how easy is that? So the top side stays clean and they roll up to be fairly compact. Now, as you can see here, I'm a big fan and we have one for each of our member of the family. They do vary in price just a little bit, starting at about $40 for the small model, up to about $60 for the deluxe versions. But if you know someone camping rough on a regular basis, this would be a very welcome present. In between each category, I'm gonna add just a little stocking stuffer, just something that's gonna be perfect for the outdoor adventurer. The first one here is gonna be the Coleman Lightweight Hammock. Now this tiny little hammock is perfect for setting up at camp for a quick afternoon nap or to entertain the kids for hours. It's rated to hold 180 kilos, yet it packs up into this small bag that is sewn into the material. At only about $30, it's a great and a very affordable way to relax at camp. Moving on to the next category between $50 and $100, the first item on my list is going to be this multi-mat. It's simple, clean, and super practical. The last thing you want on the road is mechanical problems, but unfortunately, it's inevitable at some point. This multi-mat is going to make your experience just that little more comfortable when it does come around. So it's a very simple design. It's a folding mat, a little bit like a yoga mat, but inside is a high density foam that comes in perfect for lying on it when you're crawling around underneath your vehicle. It's made from a waterproof fire retardant material that has welded seams so it won't rip or tear. And if you're working at a higher level, roll it up and use it as a knee pad. And hey, if you don't get those cedar summit pillows, you could always use this. Now they do come in a very variety of sizes. This one here being the multi-mat comes in at 1.5 meters long by 0.5 meters wide, only weighs about one kilo and costs $99. 
So moving on to a product for the four-wheel driver in your life. Now, if you're like me, four-wheel driving is some of the best fun you can have in a vehicle until it's time to head home and clean up the big mess you've made. Now, if you know someone a little like me, you'll probably see they spend hours cleaning their car after they get home from a trip. And I've been using this Meguiar's Snow Foam Cannon Kit for some time, which not only makes washing your vehicle easier, but a little bit of fun as well. Now, I will note that you do have to have a high pressure cleaner to attach to this nozzle, but adding that and some high foam soap into the pre-mixed bottle here, and you get a really thick soapy sud on the vehicle's paint. This just helps to bring some of the dirt and debris off the paint before going in with a wash mitt onto the vehicle and it prevents some of the swells and scratches you may get from a dirty mitt. The kit comes with a few adapters for different pressure sprays and you get some good high foam soap to get started for about $90. You'll definitely have some people looking at your car washing techniques when you're doing this on your front driveway. So moving on to a camping item and we have these Arlec work lights. 20 watts and about $70 each day and represent great value and a really universal light for out in the bush. I've spoken about these before, but they are genuinely super handy. They have a swivel handle for numerous positions on flat surfaces, but also have this integrated hook so you can hang it from anywhere or anything. Perfect for positioning on top of your roof rack, hanging from an awning, or even better, in the engine bay. There's a battery indicator light on the back and the ability to switch between a low, medium, and high mode so you'll have light for the whole night. Now 20 watt is the perfect brightness for a camp light, but not only that, it's also USB rechargeable, so you don't need an inverter in your vehicle to charge them up on the road. In addition to that, they are a little bit more expensive online, but head down to your local bunning store and you can pick these up for about $70 each. Another quick stocking stuffer for the four-wheel drive enthusiast is this Meguiar's Quick Detailing Spray, coming in at about $17. It's hard to keep your vehicle clean on the road, but using this, it's a waterless wash that can spray and wipe over your vehicle in a few minutes, giving it a much cleaner finish and a very glossy looking shine. Moving up into the $100 to $200 range now, and I don't think you can ever have enough spanners, which is why these King Chrome ratcheting spanners have come in as my first item in this category. I'm missing a few here and there now, but the seven piece metric set will be a good place to start. Costing about $130, you have the open end spanner at one end and a ratcheting ring spanner at the other. Now given their flat profile, it makes it perfect for either tightening or undoing your bolts in whatever location they may be. They are particularly handy when working in confined areas that just simply won't fit a regular socket. You definitely don't have to be a mechanic to need a set of these and they come in handy for just about anything. A great little gift idea for this price range is a good set of binoculars. Not a piece of equipment that a lot of people have, but something that's really fun and easy to use out on the road. Whether or not you're bird watching, checking out some of the scenery, or trying to find that bog nissen on the track behind you, they're a great piece of equipment to have in the vehicle. Now there's a huge variety of makes and models and specs to choose from, and generally the more you spend, the better quality you get. I carry this Bushnell's 10 by 42 millimeter waterproof model. The 10 times is the magnification, and the 42 millimeters is the aperture or field of view. So keeping in mind that the higher the magnification, the narrower the field of view, but also the more sensitive they are to shaking hands. So to be honest, I probably wouldn't go anything much more powerful than a 10 by 42, and even this probably wouldn't be suitable for young children with shaking hands. These come in at about $200 and come with this little bag and lens protection, perfect for the traveler. Now the next item is probably one that you're already familiar with, and that is the famous jet boil. They are super popular and for good reason. Having a way to cook your meals or make a cuppa on the road is vital, and the jet boil is probably one of the best ways to achieve that. These little units have everything packed inside. The gas cylinder, the regulator, and the stand all unpacked to provide this little furnace tower. This jet boil never leaves my cruiser. It's the perfect companion for someone who spends a fair bit of time on the road and is always packed along with my tea and coffee. I've worked out that about one 600ml bottle of water is perfect for two cups of tea and will boil in about one minute and 30 seconds perfect for those quick roadside stops. These disposable gas cylinders are only cost about $10 and they last a surprising amount of time, probably because you're not actually using the gas for that long to get that water heated up. Now if you know a high cut, then this is also perfect for heating water and adding to those freeze dry packs for a quick and easy meal. Now this particular one here is the Jet Boil Flash and I've had this for about seven years now and it's still going strong. Definitely a gift idea that I'd recommend for someone who spends a fair bit of time out in the bush or on the road. Now I think it's only appropriate to include one of these stainless steel inserted mugs as a stocking stuffer after talking about the jet boil. These little mugs are fully inserted so whether you're trying to keep your favorite drink cold or hot, it will stay that way for longer. 
So I've been using my mug now for about 10 years and yeah, it's got a few dings and dents in it, but it's still going strong and keeping my drinks hot or cold. For about $10, they won't break the bank and it's a perfect idea for a little stocking stuffer. So getting a little fancy now and moving into the $200 to $300 price range. And if you're looking for a tool for that special person who loves the outdoors, then I can highly recommend this Ryobi 18 volt brushless battery operated chainsaw. It might not look like much, but it is surprisingly efficient and effective. Whether you are looking for firewood or clearing the track from a fallen tree, this little unit packs a punch and doesn't require the pre-mixing of two-stroke fuel and a smelly mess that that comes with a traditional petrol chainsaw. I've done a very in-depth video on this unit just recently on the channel and I can vouch for its performance. Starting at $269 for the tool only, you will have to buy a battery to go along with it, but once you have that battery, you can power many of the tools manufactured by Ryobi. Now, if you're looking for something a little more substantial for the four-wheel driver that you know, I would highly recommend the Ultra Gauge unit. Every vehicle manufactured after 1996 is required to have an OBD2 port in their vehicle, which is essentially a data type connection that allows computers to be plugged in to be able to read and write information to the vehicle's ECU. The Ultra Gauge unit plugs directly into this and reads a multitude of data fields that is able to succinctly present that information live on this little screen. Now you can alter how much data and what data is displayed on those screens and custom pre-program up to seven pages of information. I've been running these on the last couple of four-wheel drives that I've owned and definitely wouldn't go without one moving forward. Starting at about $259, they are vehicle specific. So if you're buying for someone else, make sure you know what vehicle they drive, but definitely a well worth investment. Something for the camper? Well, check out this light. The high beam light comes in at about $220, but is usually on special for about $189. This super bright LED plate that attaches to a four meter telescopic pole can be raised well up into the sky. So not only do you get an overhead light, which is super handy for removing those shadows that you get from side camping lights, but you also have all those swarms of bugs flying four meters above your head rather than around the head torch that you're wearing right in front of your face. It takes a minute or two to put together, but comes in this compact canvas bag, has adapters to be run from either a 12 volt cigarette plug or straight from the vehicle's battery with these alligator clamps. The long ground pole ensures a stable platform and the remote makes it super easy for adjusting the brightness and turning the light on and off. It's a pretty nifty little camping idea and great for camping with groups and young children. Now you always need towels in your camp and a little small hand towel like this comes in super handy, particularly in the kitchen. These little microfiber quick dry pocket towels are extremely compact, but also dry in no time. So no need to worry about hanging them out to dry in the sun. I hang my one up on the fridge handle and it's amazing how often it gets used. A perfect little stuffing stocker for only $15. So now we're starting to move on to the high rollers at the $300 plus mark. But if you're looking for a high end, high tech tool, I'd recommend this OBD2 vehicle diagnostic tool by CG Sullet. This computer hooks straight into your vehicle's factory OBD2 port and can read a huge amount of data, codes, maintenance schedules, detect faults, alter settings and parameters, and so much more. You can read live data off this unit as well, things like injector feedback values, water temperature sensors, or pretty much whatever you like. But more importantly, you can fault find. Now modern vehicles are great, but if you have something that goes wrong with the electronics, it could be a very expensive tow back to the town you come from for the mechanic to either reset or diagnose a very simple fault. This unit can tell you what is wrong with the vehicle and will point you in the right direction to start fixing roadside. Further, you can clear the fault codes once the problem has been fixed, removing limp mode and allowing you to keep on traveling. You could also do things like reset the oil maintenance lights, alter the volume of warnings and alar alarms in your vehicle, how long the interior lights stay on for, or perhaps even the functions of the keyless remote. It doesn't come cheaply though at about 430 Australian dollars, but I like to think of it as an investment in case something goes wrong remotely. I will mention that not all of the features are available with all makes and models of vehicles, so make sure you know what you're buying it for, have a chat with the manufacturer to see whether it'll work before spending your hard-earned money. Now, if you're looking for a high-end four-wheel drive accessory for someone you know, then you'll sure light up their way with a set of these steady Type-X Pro spotlights. These spotlights are seriously bright, and I can't imagine anyone would need any more distance from a set of driving lights than what can be achieved from these. I believe these have to be some of the best value for money spotlights on the market. Coming in at about $689, they are not cheap, but they are quality. Not only do they maintain that super bright output, but the brackets they come with are beefy. 
Now in my experience, brackets are normally the weak point of a spotlight when you consider the types of conditions that we put our four-wheel drives under, particularly those endless corrugations. The chunky steel brackets with three bolts into the bull bar and two bolts into each side of the light are super secure. I've had my set on my vehicle for about two and a half years now and only had to realign them once when I had the suspension installed. They are a great unit and will sure last the test of time. Now finally, if you know someone who is just starting out in the camping world and starting to get their gear list together, then maybe this final accessory will come in handy. The Crash Bad Swag is an awesome home away from home. And I've been using this one for a little under a year now and I've spent about two months sleeping inside in various conditions. It has been super comfortable and has plenty of room to move around. Now when I was looking around for a new swag, I wanted something that was very quick and easy to put up and had to be freestanding. I didn't want to have to peg the unit down every single night, particularly for those quick overnighters. And with this unit, I don't have to worry. The center pole spreads those end hoops and the large doors make it super easy to get in and out of. The fine midgy mesh means that you can have that canvas wide open on those warmer nights and wake up to nature's finest. Now the swags themselves fold up relatively compact, but even better than that, it's supplied with this oversized bag. Not bad value at about $438 and they come in a variety of colors as well. So suitable for the fashionable traveler. Well, I hope that's set you off to a good start for trying to find that perfect gift for that special person. Now there are plenty of gimmicks and cheap and poor quality items on the four wheel drive and camping market. But like I said at the start of this video, all of these items I purchased myself and I selected them because they're genuinely useful and have lasted the test of time. The hard part for you now is to choose what you're going to get, but I hope you have a great Christmas and New Year period and I'll see you very soon in a new episode. Cheers.